Well, there goes my brunch plans. Hey guys, finally got my YouTube video up. Where is this place at first? Go like you're going to Copper River. You know how there's like all those little buildings for like little businesses beside Copper River? Oh, I know, it's in that. It's in there, yeah. For the high school, it did. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. But I finally got my YouTube video up today. We got this sound bar and it, what's it doing? It's like, just pulling Wi-Fi? No, the sound bar, they, there's a thing on how to fix it. I just haven't went through doing it because I don't like messing with it. And I'm pretty sure anytime you unplug the power on it, you have to go through the steps again. But Ugh. it's Sorry like the same as those old remotes that have like a frequency that they omit work on. Yeah, and like it can interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. And it said it in, mm -hmm. the, in the box that if it does, how to fix it. And then it can mess with like if you have like controllers for video games. Like I, my controllers don't work if it's on, I have to turn it off. So I had a 45 mini, minute video today to upload. My hair is so big. Um, and it was like it uploaded finally after like an hour and then it has to, so once it uploads, it will say um, upload complete processing will begin shortly. And processing used to not take long. And then all of a sudden we get the sound bar because we like the way the sound is and it interferes with it. So I had Sam unplug it. He says it was just the sound bar, but as soon as he turned off the TV, because he was watching a game online, it really kicked up and then finally the video got live. But we are gonna go to like a brunch lunch, more lunch than brunch, but I'm getting breakfast food. I think he's getting regular food. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're, we're going to Eggs Up Grill. There's, they're literally popping up everywhere. I. Like you guys may even have it. I don't know if it's just a South Carolina, North Carolina thing, but Eggs Up Grill, like I Googled Eggs Up Grills close to our house. I got like seven results. So they are everywhere. And that's good because we don't have a lot of those like places around here. So that's what we're doing. That's where we're going today. I'm excited. Well, there goes my brunch plans. We walked in and she like looked down very hesitant at her notebook and she goes, it's gonna be an hour wait for food. And I think she meant like food. We could have probably gotten seated and gotten coffee, but like I'm hangry already. So it's gonna be, can you go this way to Waffle House? That's what I'm gonna try to. Um, so we're gonna go to Waffle House. <laughs> Definitely not what we expected. Waffle House is probably gonna be equally as busy. If that fails, we were just going to Sunday. I was like, we'll just go to Chick-fil-A. Brunch plans busted. Oh, it's such a dingy Waffle House too. Not that any of them are, you know, oh, exquisite. How dare you? Uh, Waffle House was mine and Sam's like favorite place when we would when we were in college. We would. How many times would you say we ate Waffle House? Like a week, once a week. Um, I had Waffle House at the same place and sat in the same seat every Tuesday and Thursday after practice in the morning for a good two years. <laughs> I had my metabolism then. And the lady had my coffee ready every morning before I got there usually. <laughs> I've seen, I don't know if you've, you probably don't ever really look at them. I've seen videos where they're doing. Sam's watching like wax. The fancy barbershop video when like the guys get their hair cut. He looks like Prince Harry. When they're done. How dare you compare Prince Harry to that? <laughs> Does that not look like, okay, he does it now that I'm looking at him through here, but. That man is twice the man Prince Harry ever Initial did. shock, he looks like Prince Harry, but the hair is a little dead. So Sam is watching these videos of like. It's like fancy barbershop and like they'll like do the guy's hair or whatever. And then they put like, I guess it's like a wax on their mm -hmm. forehead, around their nose, and some of them do all the way to like their beard line. And that guy and had it. rip it out. It, I don't that know guy had the that. back of his neck. I could, I'm too much of a wuss. I, I've never, so I've never gotten a bikini wax before. I really, really want to get one. Some women will say they do it like before they give birth. And I'm like, 
I just feel like there's a lot going on down there. While pregnant before birth. Yeah. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it does. It sounds pretty miserable. Um, I probably would never do that. You gotta, you gotta hear this dude. But you, they played together. He's for a, a lot long cute. Time. Okay, the more I look at him, the less he looks. He's actually really cute. Okay, so yeah, we were just watching this. Sam was watching this video about he's a, waxing. He is a like flaming ginger. He looks. He's ginger. I, I don't know what they did to his hair here. But oh yeah, no, he's ginger AF. I mean that beard alone. He ain't this ginger, but he's no, like he's a, very ginger. He's very ginger. That's one thing people used to call. I'll never forget. Okay. Someone called me a ginger in high school as an insult, and there was a boy. I think it might have been. I know who it was. I'll bleep his name out. It was. He defended me so quickly, and he was like, "Don't you ever call her that again? She is not a ginger." And that's what this guy defended me, and he was like, "She is not a ginger." Her skin, what's funny, I have red skin because of rosacea, not because I'm a ginger. But he was, he got so hot, he was like, don't you ever call her that again. That is not, she is not a ginger. But I will never forget, I was like, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for that. I mean, it, it's never offended me when someone says ginger. So I thought that was funny, but we're gonna talk about this exercise bike. Can you come give your opinion on this exercise bike as someone who has mountain biked before? I do get that question a lot. I know you don't have much of a, No, but someone said your husband bikes more. What does he think about like the seat and the features? So Sam is not a road biker. He is a mountain biker. Two different things. And then there's like a stationary bike, different. But I have gotten the request. Um, so you can kind of see it like next to a person. We're actually in Sam's office right now. Yeah, it's, it's on yours. It's too short for me right now with what you have it set up. But, but you would still say that this is a good bike, like right? You would, you like it? Yeah, I, I would get it again if it was like... Honestly, and this sounds so... It's going to like contradict itself. I, would, I, I wouldn't get it if you are over six foot one. Yeah. Because I'm like right at six foot and it's I'm probably as tall as you can be comfortably. Yeah. One thing that I have thought, and I know this sounds so contradictory, but I love this bike so much that it makes me want a Peloton. I really like it. Makes is that it is very light. Oh, wait, hold like, on. Like most One more time? Like, this is the side with the wheel, so this is the, the heavy side, and like... Yeah, it's very, and it fits like, into a small space. Yeah, it's, like, it's super light, like, the two of us could easily pick it up and take it out. And of move it with no issues. I'd move myself out of the house if I had to, but... Yeah, it's, and it has the little wheelbarrow type, right, because it doesn't have wheels back there, but it does there. So it's like wheelbarrow style. No. <laughs> no? That's not what that's called. What's it called? The, the wheels are all in the front. It's, so this one's... It's, it's not a, called wheelbarrow style when it only has wheels on one part? No, I don't I'll show you guys the screen too. So the screen I don't I don't think either of us use, right? You don't use this. Because I, I have... I use it for time. And then I put my iPad in front okay. of Okay, yeah. So this has this is where your iPad goes. So I put the iPad here and do the Peloton hack where you like have the iPad Peloton app. But I use a watch. So that's how I kind of track my... Yeah, there you go. It goes more or less. Oh, that's where you put it. I never try to put mine up here. Why I, have I never? I put it just like that. <laughs> Why have I never done that before? Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently you can do that. But it has this little screen. So let me explain the the desire. Let me explain the desire for a Peloton now. I did not think I was someone who was going to enjoy. <laughs> you just scared our cat. Good. A spin He's being bike. Mischievous. I really thought I would use this. Yeah. Once a week, once every other week. I love this bike so much. It It is one of the best workouts I get. And I do the Peloton app and I enjoy the classes. I love the music. And it has genuinely made me want a Peloton. I do recommend this bike if you're gonna get it. Like if you, or if you don't want to spend the money on one. My sister has a Peloton. I might chat up her a little bit and ask her um, how, you know, how she feels about it, but yeah, I, I definitely would not recommend going zero to Peloton if you don't know if you want to ride a bike. I genuinely did not think I would, so I was like, I'm not going to waste the money on the bike. It's just such a waste of money. And now I have this one, and I, t I like hear what they're saying about, you know, you can do this. The thing that that bike doesn't have that would like make me consider a Peloton is the incline change. So this one only has the speed setting or the setting where you can like make it more resistant. That's it. Um, if you do not want to spend that money on the bike, for sure, 
this is the bike to get. I have been so happy with it, but like Sam said, and I didn't think about that. If you're over six foot one, six foot two, probably not gonna enjoy it, but I'm five foot nine. I love it. I think it's really comfortable. My butt did get used to the seat very quickly. But again, like I'm really considering the Peloton and I that's like so contradictory because I like this bike and I don't want to get rid of the bike, but I just realized like it's totally worth the money to get a Peloton. The pedals are fixed. So you can't pedal and coast and like keep your feet flat. Your feet have to constantly be moving. Like you, mm. you can't pedal really hard and then like take a pause. Yeah. So if you, I ride clipped in on my mountain bike. Yeah. Like by choice. I've watched him. Enjoy it. But I've watched him. Have you ever watched someone roll out of a mountain bike? <clears throat> Especially your husband after he had a. Anyway. No, no, no. We're going to talk about this. So I think I've told you guys before. This man right here. I say it a lot. He was a runner in college. So it just so happened we had been dating for what? Like two weeks when you injured your ankle. It, Cause didn't you hurt it hurtling? So you like came down on it, right? Yeah, I went, I went over, left foot went up in the air. Oh supposed goodness. to come down and then you run. My <sighs> foot came down and completely buckled and caught my full, oh. like it completely rolled yeah. in and my full body weight slammed on it yep. at full speed. So and I was carried to the training room. We get to see the specialist. He like barely touched Sam's foot. And he was like, oh um, yeah, this is torn. This is torn. Like this man is brilliant. And you can just see it. He's like barely touching Sam's foot. And he was like, you have a lateral tear here. You have this tear here. Um, this is all messed up. So when Sam finally had the surgery, they said it will take 45 minutes. And about an hour and 45 minutes later, they were still back. I was like climbing the walls at the surgery center. Cause, and when they came and got me, he was like, it was terrible. He was like, everything was loose. His ankle was not great. And I stopped counting after I found the 17th bone spur. So Sam had this very expensive surgery that Wofford did end up paying for. And homeboy was his left ankle, right? Mm -hmm. And I felt so bad they told me his surgery was gonna be laparoscopic. And then when they went in, they realized it wasn't gonna be able to because the damage was so bad. So they had to like actually cut a huge incision and Sam complained. I have huge scars. They, yeah, eyes. they never told me that they didn't do it laparoscopic. So I assumed that although it was bad, they still did it all with just three little points. So Sam was like, oh my gosh, my incision hurts so bad. And I was like, okay, like, mm, I'm sure your incision hurts. And when they took his thing off, you guys, that thing was like, when you say, if you were to like stretch it out straight, it's probably like this. It's disgusting. So he has a... Pump another. This one's not bad. Yeah, that one's not bad. And then you can see there's one point where they tried to do a laparoscopic. Um, Homeboy has this very expensive ankle and he gets on his mount bike and he goes, Oh, you want to see how I roll out of my, out of my thing? And like, this was when he can't, isn't it like when you can't get your foot out, you have to do it like that? Takes his bike and just falls to the side, to the left side, and like rolls completely out of his bike. And the very first time I saw him do that, I was like, he has a $40,000 ankle and he's rolling a bike on top of his ankle. Oh my gosh. So I, all of that to be said, story time, impromptu story time. Sam mountain biking gives me anxiety, especially having watched him completely roll out of his bike, like seeing that video. Even yesterday, I, one of our friends face planted completely, like... Did it to himself, 100%. And he was like about a freaking two inches away from a tree. Like that was what was so scary. I told him, I said, you know, like it wasn't even that you fell. It was that you were like almost head first into a tree. So mountain biking is extreme, but Sam does have clips um, that he rides with. And would you say you prefer the clips over cages? Because doesn't Peloton have clips or do they have cages For too? a... For that? Yeah. Like if you had a preference and you could do either clips or cages, do you think the clips are more comfortable? I've never yes. ridden. I've never ridden with clips, so you're, I don't know. You're more, a cage, your foot is in it and it can slide around. A yeah. clip, the bottom of your shoe physically clips to it. You, there's no, you, like there's no way for it to move. Mm. Well, so all that story time to tell you that Sam, if ever you hear me like talking crap about Sam's ankle, it's because he had a very, very, very expensive surgery by this amazing specialist. They really helped his ankle and we didn't have to pay for it because it, he was a collegiate athlete at the time. And he just like goes and rolls around and like falls off bikes and all this stuff voluntarily. So, but that's a review on the bike. Um, 
kind of went around the world to just go across the street there, but if if I, if you're going based off just my opinion, I get that request a lot. Do you recommend it? 100%. Wouldn't you say? I mean, yeah, it, it's a, I, it's a what it great is, yeah, bike. It's great for the price. For 300, you get. 300 bucks, 315. It is an amazing bike, but I really want the Peloton. <laughs> so I'm going to go actually get on it. That's why I was going to share. I ate my body weight in Waffle House. I was actually really good though. I only ate two bites of Sam's Waffle <laughs> and I didn't get a waffle myself. They don't have gluten-free options there. Um, so... That's what's happening today. Absolutely nothing. You are not gonna like it. No? It's bitter. Ew, is it? You can put salt in it. Do you want me to put a little bit of salt in it? Why would you put salt in it? Helps with that. Yeah, like a sprinkle yeah, of salt. It tastes like chocolate coffee. Is that bad? Okay. I mean, I don't. I am self tanner on, so please disregard. But I just made hot chocolate from raw cocoa powder. I'm a little nervous. It was not the easiest thing to make because apparently if you mix in cocoa powder with a hot, why is this not focusing? Um, a hot like liquid, it bubbles, so. It smells really good. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> I just put all that work in. And it is disgusting. It is so bitter. I'm like so bummed. I'm actually like heartbroken right now. It's nope. disgusting. It's like the first bit of it's good and then the rest of it's like bitter. Guess I'll find something else to do with that powder. But I don't know what to do with. Ah! If you have and like raw cocoa powder, give me some recipes below, Pinterest pins, whatever. Whew, Cause that ain't it. But we're finishing the vlog out here. Say bye babe. Do the regular, you gotta do his peace sign. We'll see you guys in the next one.